Sorry, last one, last clip. Yeah. Well, you've been in our country. I'm sure you've been observing our campaign. Would you want to make any comments on the quality of the campaign? Uh, the quality of the campaign. Um, well, it's. Uh, I mean, I really enjoyed the, the debates, the second okay. debates. Mm -hmm. I found them very sophisticated and uh, and and uh, so informative. Actually, I asked my country team to watch it. Mm -hmm. we, we played it here. Mm -hmm. We edited it down mm -hmm. a little bit and we watched it because uh, they really debated the issues of the day and in a pretty sophisticated manner. What uh, you know, the other side of the flip side, perhaps, of the coin is that th th there weren't many issues that were terribly controversial. In a sense, you have the impression that there are... Well, the health issue became topical. Topical, but controversial. I mean, you have some clear controversies with one party, clear debates, with parties taking opposite sides of the debate. I haven't seen that in, in many instances, so that's one general remark. Maybe it's because we are dominated by institutions like yours, such that the room for maneuver for our national governments is not very much, so we don't really have much power to decide. I mean, I hope not, because I think issues have a left and a right, which has to do with taste, with perception, with expectations. I mean, you can't resolve issues scientifically. There is a matter of taste and choice in most issues. But maybe Ghanaians see more or less eye to eye on, on, on the major issues. That may be one of the conclusions of, uh, mm -hmm. of that campaign. Uh, or else the issues are not, uh, are not clear. The debates are not clear. Um, I noticed that the, all the parties offered the moon and they haven't really factored in the global financial crisis as happened in the United States. It came late in the campaign, I guess. So the, we've calculated that each one has offered investment of at least $20 billion, and we don't think that more than half of this would be available. So there would be some trade-offs left for the future. You know, what do you do exactly? You put your money in the north, in the west, in health, uh, in, in free secondary school, uh, or what exactly? That's interesting. Well, on the global financial crisis, for instance, I mean, that, that raised another issue, which was uh, the quality of information, public information on the economy. Because I remember one of the presidential candidates actually said that, well, there should have been a retreat. The current government should have had a retreat with all the presidential candidates on exactly the possible impact of the uh, financial crisis on the country. And of course, another of the presidential candidates actually, I, I think essentially what was, he set up a task force on the, um, on the financial crisis. But more generally, what is your impression of the quality of economic information which is in there, so that if I'm a private sector person, I'm an NGO, I can make good decisions about where Ghana is going? Mm. I think the quality is good. I mean, you know, Ghanaians are very connected internationally, and uh, the people of the world, so it's as good as it is anywhere else. Uh, but the general situation is highly uncertain. It changes by the day. Uh, it was a small crisis, became a huge crisis. Uh, the whole system froze. That was unexpected. Uh, countries, the big countries, are reacting in front of our eyes with major packages. Uh, now it has moved to the real economy. We're seeing major packages that will influence the size of deficits, debts for an exchange. Uh, we don't know whether China will grow at 9, 7, or 2 percent next year. It will have tremendous impact on the price of cocoa. So we live in a world of very high uncertainty, and I don't think that it takes a team to figure out a clear response. At this stage, one needs contingency plans and flexibility and uh, and care. Uh, to what extent have I seen it happen uh, here? I would say very little. People were busy campaigning, the government, uh, the ministers have been uh, out of the office. Uh, I think that campaign has really uh, occupied mm -hmm. the minds mm -hmm. and hearts of, mm -hmm. of the whole political class here for several months. Mm -hmm. it's, it's clearly it's a big election. Yeah, it is. I'm happy you mentioned China because actually one of the most important points that came out of our session yesterday was that Mr. Kwame PNM said that in fact the Kufuadu campaign has tasked him to chair a committee on a, on a strategy towards China, which I found very interesting. But more generally, let me ask you, 
What do you think has been public policy reaction to the BRICS? Brazil, Russia, India, China, and Ghana. The public reaction? The, the public policy, the Ghana government's uh, proactive reaction to the emergence of these new powers, the economic powers. Well, I haven't seen much. I mean, Ghana and others were not really invited to the table besides South Africa mm -hmm. yeah, they, uh, at the new Bretton Woods summit. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I would imagine the debates about the organization of global governance, mm -hmm. whether it's on the financial side or the trade side, would be an important uh, element in the Ghanaian agenda. Mm -hmm. I would expect both parties who are very connected internationally to, to, to want to play that game and to, to want to represent Africa in, in, in these uh, fora. My final question is that. Yeah. Um, you are an expatriate living in Accra. Uh -huh. Have you felt threatened by the possibility of violence surrounding the election? Uh, not at all. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh,